everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Resident Evil Remake. Got the sheet music. Hi, Becky, how you doing? Now you got, got nothing to do. Jesus Christ, camera angle! Let me, let me talk to Becky? There we go. Take care, Chris. Aww. Okay, bye. <laughs> Take care, Chris lovingly touches arm. I'm just like, okay, bye! I haven't used her ability to heal me yet because I think she can only do it once. But when you go into that room, if you walk towards her, it'll trigger a cutscene. And she's like, Chris, do you need me to heal your wounds? And I, every time I've gone in there, I've been fine, so I'm like, uh, no. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Last second Overwatch reflex dodge. Now we get to watch Chris's Chris completely ineffectually play the piano. Because of course it's not him who plays it like when you play as Jill. No. No, it's, it's, it's you know, Rebecca. But, uh, okay, that took longer than it should have. Oh no, I forgot the emblem. I didn't forget the emblem! No, what are you talking about? You saw nothing. <laughs> it's right here, see? Nope, I forgot nothing. <laughs> Really, Chris? Re really, Chris? It's me, Chris. Hi, how'd Rebecca. you get past all the zombies? Did you hear my terrible play? That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. That sounded nothing like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Yeah, I learned from this guy named Billy. <laughs> She's like, I learned from this guy named Billy a couple hours ago. He's awesome. You should meet- Oh wait, he's dead. No, ignore what I just said, because I totally reported him as being dead. Come on, Chris! Oh, what was that? She plays better than you. My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Rude. Okay. Um, well, I don't have anything else to do. I've completed everything else. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, I've completed everything else. Maybe if I just enter and exit, she'll be like, I know what to do. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've done everything I can do up until this point. Why does it still sound like she's playing from the outside? Yeah, it still sounds like she's playing from outside the room. Okay, uh, Becky? Becky, I got shit to do. Brrrr! Becky, Becky, Becky. Rebecca is practicing the piano. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go see Richard, I guess? Because <laughs> I don't have any other keys. I'm still missing one of the helmets. Fuck if I know where you want me to go, so I'm gonna go see Richard. Hi, Zambi. Oh no, Zamble. Oh no, Zambi! Oh, you almost got me that time. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm a dodging master. And I'm very, very glad that I torched the zombie. Well, I didn't torch the zombie down here. I think I headshotted him. But still. I, I don't know why, but it always seems like Chris headshots more than Jill does in this game. Hey, Richard. How you doing? Okay. I'm just gonna stare at him like a freaking creeper, Chris. Oh my god, he is. Just stares at him like a goddamn creeper. Richard is sound asleep. Just leave him alone for now. Chris. You're a creep. <laughs> Not as bad as Leon half the time, but still. You're the derpy, adorable creep that we all love to make fun of for your steroid abuse later on. Yes, that was me flexing, don't judge. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, okay, bye. I was trying to get him to trigger to jump me, and he's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to jump you. How you doing here, Becky? I went and said hi to Richard. Are you done? Chris! Oh, thank Chris, God. <laughs> I think I got it. doesn't want to show you their fingers, so they crop the scene just before that. So they don't have to actually animate the fingers moving. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. I don't think that's the entire Moonlight Sonata. Just saying. <laughs> Uh-oh! Obviously, it's the thing that you need to get. Hey, look, emblem. Take the gold emblem, yes. Oh no, I'm trapped. Whatever shall I do? Now that I'm trapped in this awful, awful... Oh, just kidding. That's why we had the emblem. I wonder what this could be. Trevor's Diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer my sp and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I only hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. Yeah, about that. But wait, even as I am writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab could said something like, Most likely your family is all ready. I pray for their safety. How <laughs> about that? Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but it's getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem, I have to try and remember for my own sake. Yeah, well, you are so dead, my dude. <laughs> Good thing I'm here, though. Were you all right in there? Oh, yeah. it took all three seconds, Becky. Shut up. Rebecca has a look of concern in her eyes. Um. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> You have fun with Richard, Becky. <laughs> just, just go have fun with Richard. Not too much fun, though, because you know you're in love with Billy. The convict who killed 23 people. I think it was 23. Not that he actually killed them, but, you know. You should watch my Let's Play if you want to hear more about that. A Resident Evil Zero. Hashtag plug. So yeah, this puzzle is related to the picture. And so we need to have the green one like this, so that's the long arm, so that's the minute arm, the short one, like that. It's the hour hand, I think, is how this, this plays out. So the two run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. You turn the kids inside the lock trites. Is it? It? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's one sword. You guys can't actually see the painting because it's where my webcam is, but there is a sword going through a head and a sword going through a torso. So we have to put the things on the head and the torso, like the minute and the hour hands on the head and the torso. A key! Which key is it? It's the shield key. Which I think goes to... That room down there. Go to that room up there. No, I think that's the helmet key. Maybe. <laughs> oh, and it goes to the yawn area too. Mmm, balls. Guess I get to go deal with yawn now. This is going to end well. Time for me to get my ass poisoned. Oh wait, not this way. But I think there's one of the room. I think this one's the shield key. No, it's a helmet key, damn it. <laughs> we don't get the helmet key for a hot minute. 
Let's use the stairs, Chris. I know that anybody is probably like, Oh no, what are you doing? Why aren't you... Why don't you have the... the all of the shotgun stuff? Because Yon. Like, I'm not gonna actually fight Yon, are you kidding me? <laughs> Grab the emblem and get the fuck out! <laughs> Never fight Yon. Oh wait, you might have to fight Yon in this game. In the original, you don't fight Yon. I don't think you have to fight Yon here either. Use the shield key, there's no further use for this key, just cards. Way to make sure you have room in your inventory for something, game. Ah, uh, tits. Ah, uh, crummy Christmas. Hey, Yon! How you doing? Dodge, Chris, dodge! <laughs> Way to dodge, Chris. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, I didn't get poisoned. Why is it harder to get poisoned there? Is or easier to get poisoned there is Jill. I'm gonna just blame Richard. Blame Richard for a lot of things. I managed to get the death mask fairly easily. He just sucks. Ha! You thought. You thought. So now I have to go all the way back, grab three of the masks. Yes, only three of them. Because if you grab three of the death masks and put them all in, then you get rid of three of the chains, you leave the last chain, go get the last mask from your inventory, and then you have to worry less about not having enough inventory space to hold, you know, the shotgun to take down the Grandpa Crimson Head that we're going to be fighting in a second here. Spoilers for something that's going to happen in like five minutes. And there's a one! And there's two! Could we not? Ew, it's got blood on the camera. <laughs> And this one is here. That's gross. And now I gotta go back and get the last one. This is a lot of this. It's it's this no. It's just made of no. I mean, I gotta do it so we can finally exit the mansion or exit the mansion area. Doesn't mean I'm gonna like it though. Also, I feel the need to point out, so in the beginning, when I picked difficulty, I think, I may have pointed this out already, and I think I did it, did the same mistake in my, um, charity playthrough. I accidentally picked easy, and I know, and I apologize for that, because I normally pick normal when I do Let's Plays. The reason was, is it doesn't say normal, easy, very easy, which is apparently what the difficulty settings are. No, it has like the one, two, three, what people would most likely assume hard, normal, easy, right? Like it would be in most games. And yet, it's normal, easy, very easy in this game to start out with. I was just like, really, game? Could you, could you like make that any less intuitive? I mean, they could. They obviously could. They could have made what people think would be the very easy mode, actually, the very difficult mode. But I kind of would have liked if they just had a hard, normal, easy. Instead of normal, easy, very easy, causing me to play this game on easy and just breeze through with a bajillion health items. This, this is the average amount. Is, I got a few. I got a... I got a few! <laughs> just a couple. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this. Cause I don't want to have to deal with what I'm gonna have to deal with here in a second. <sighs> yep. Chris is back in hate! <laughs> also, yes, there's a, a lack of zombie up here. I'm aware. He grabbed me while I was going through the hallway, I stuck the grenade in his mouth, and then blew it up. Which is why I have no more grenades. It makes me sad. 
Also, this door texture keeps glitching. Why? Why you glitch? Okay, Chris. This is your motivation. Jill sandwich. Now go kill a crimson head. That's all the motivation that Chris needs for anything. Somebody says, you know, if you do this thing, there's a Jill sandwich in it for you. And Chris is like, I'm there. Sold. Sold! <laughs> Gonna give me all them Jill sandwiches. I ship him with Jill, if you couldn't tell. And if the game didn't make me make it almost, well, uh, pretty blatantly obvious that he's in love with her. Funnily enough, they make it less obvious that Jill's in love with Chris, which I find hilarious. Mostly because Resident Evil um, 5. Granted, I haven't played the DLC for 5 yet. I am still playing through Resident Evil 5 again on my Twitch channel with Molly, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to follow me on Twitch. But... So hopefully the DLCs are on the horizon. Finally, because people keep asking about them. Hi. Ah, crap. Make sure I'm positioned right. <laughs> hey, dude! Hey! How you, how you doing? I'm gonna blame Wesker for that one, because Chris could, totally could have left there. Oh no, Zombo! Let me alone. Let me alone! Is he dead? Nope! <laughs> now he is. Stupid crimson head. Yes, by the way, that was a crimson head. He is more powerful than your standard crimson head is, because he's a, a special crimson head. He's also a very rude crimson head. Hey, I got an achievement! Not just any object. Yeah, okay, I've beaten this game before, why haven't I unlocked that achievement before? I don't know if you guys can see it, because I don't know if the- I can never remember if the Twitch overlay gets caught. In games like this. But... Shrug. Uh, I should... I should go to the item box first. I should. But am I going to? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna. I got shit to do. Also, I think there is a item box not too far after we leave the mansion. Hey, Eduardo, how you doing? I hope you don't turn into a hunter soon. <laughs> hunter? What's a hunter? No, they're they're not awful, awful, awful things at all. No. No, stop. Chris, why are you like this? There's a zombie dog right there. Now is not the time to be pushing things. There's a bunch of zombies in this room. Balls. Point it down at his dick. <laughs> no! <laughs> Screw you, that should have killed him. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> That's fine, we're leaving the mansion. The next time I come here, they're all gonna turn to hunters anyway. Stupid hunters. Ah, uh, come here. Gotcha! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that was way too long of a camera change game. <laughs> okay. Now we leave the mansion, and nothing bad's gonna happen to us. But when we leave the mansion... Dogs. <laughs> Dogs is what happens. <laughs> uh, excuse you, it's right... It's right there, dumbass. Chris, stop being dumb! 
Like, Chris, seriously. Thank you. You're stupid. <laughs> I'm out. Leaving the mansion behind. Oh, criminy Christmas. I shouldn't have taken the shotgun. <laughs> hmm. Isn't there something else up here? Why am I distinctly remember there being more things? That's why. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot all about this puzzle! One more spawn. Whisker? Whisker? <laughs> Monster chains. Tree. None says. Wave. Woods outside the mansion. Stay away from outside the mansion. And where am I? Thanks for the frickin' warning, Whisker. Okay. I think if one has to be west and one has to be... Because we have to get them to face away from each other. If I remember correctly. They're not facing away from each other. Because I think if they face away from each other, I can get past it. Uh, I south? No. That has to be north. The north and west? Ah, there we go. Cool. So this entire section was added for the remake. This is not in the original game for those who didn't know already. Also, also, this is the room that we get the, uh... Yeah, there. That is where we get our good old friend, the Magnum. Sadly, not yet. Though I do need to put the Windcrest there. Wonder who that could be? Oh! The large statue stands silently in the darkness. Also, should point out, the dogs from the beginning of the game are not trying to kill me here. Even though I am outside of the mansion. Like, this is not indoors. This is outside. I didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> it's taking its own sweet time still. Hey, Herbies! That I don't have room for. Crap. Oh, wait, I'm on caution, so I can just use them some. <laughs> Um, no, 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 no. So yeah, spooky cabin that we're going to go all through in the next video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Resident Evil Remake HD Chris scenario. That name is long, and I'll see you all in the next video.